Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us. Loud music, parties, and gunshots. Some Crystal residents are accusing one of their neighbors of not being so neighborly. Upset residents in the Valley Place neighborhood are asking the city council to revoke the rental license on what they call a problem property. Reporter Sonia Goins has more. This is really quiet, you know, it's just a one block street, so don't get a lot of traffic going through and everything. The corner of Edgewood and 30th Avenue North is normally quiet, but some residents say one house on the block is disturbing the peace. Lots of traffic in and out and uh, loud people. Bill Foyt grew up in this neighborhood. He lives a few houses down from 2950 Edgewood, which some are calling a problem property. Do you want them to be gone? The people that live there now, yeah. Yeah, they've been, uh, <laughs> they've been causing a bit of problems. There have been a lot of police calls to this address, but neighbors say the most disturbing call happened on December 28th when gunshots rang out in the middle of the night. When it comes down to bullets in your neighborhood, get out. <laughs> Rachel Vidko stays across the street from the house. You live away from the city for, for you know, no shootings, uh, no parties. I mean, you want that in suburbia. Rachel says there was another incident where a drunk driver backed out of the home and crashed through her yard. It had gone into that flower bed right up there and um, knocked through the flower bed and then went straight into their yard and right up to the corner of the house where their kid sleeps, I guess. I think you summed it up pretty well. Frustrated neighbors the took their concerns to the city council on well, Tuesday night. Is, we are concerned, and I'm sure you would be as well if you live there. 41 people signed a petition to revoke the rental license at 2950. I'm just sick to hear about this. And I mean, I, f I feel terrible for you, and I'm sure we all do. The city of Crystal has a three housing violations in one year time period, and you're out rule. No word if that will apply to this case. And we would like to see that, that license revoked. I tried talking to the tenants of the so-called problem property. They were not at home. I did talk to the landlord, Patty Matson. She didn't want to talk on camera, but she says she's not going to evict the tenants. She says they pay their rent on time. Matson also believes the complaints might be racially motivated. The tenants are Hispanic. Mike? All right, thank you.